imagined I will die like this. I always thought it's gonna be, I don't know, something more meaningful, peacefully with my family, or in some violent way, anything but this. Hell, I can almost see the headlines. A man died of insomnia. A man didn't sleep for two weeks. You wouldn't believe what happened to him. What a ridiculous way to die. I can hardly think. My head hurts. My eyes feel as if someone wiped them with sandpaper. It hurts to move or even think. Yet I can't stop. At this point I hadn't slept for two weeks. Like, at all. I never realized how long a day is. It's like months passed, but it was only a couple of weeks. At first, when I didn't sleep for days, I grew more and more slow and unfocused. As if I'm always asleep, but not really. I started to hear noises, to see movements in the dark. I read that paranoia is a symptom of insomnia as well. Splendid. So it didn't take long before I went to a doctor, who sent me to another one, and then another one. I got an MRI and everything. Apparently, the sleep function in my brain just switched off. I physically cannot sleep. Not even anesthetics work. I mean, I can be unconscious, but it doesn't put my brain in sleep mode. So the doctor said I'm dying and they can't do anything about it. Nobody knew what the hell happened to me. Only the last doc. That old creep said it's an extremely rare syndrome and is still under research. So he gave me a camera while he went to prepare an experimental treatment or something. Yep. 21th century healthcare. A camera. Heat waves are also a symptom of long term sleep deprivation. This camera can record my heat signals and alert the hospital if I'm in a critical state. Needless to say, it helps my growing paranoia a lot that I am constantly being watched by a medical team. So basically, that's it. I have a couple of days left, at best. The only thing I can do is write down my last words. Except, I don't know what to say. I was always bad at this. So the best I can do is to talk to myself through my own writing. At least it's something. I constantly feel like something is watching me. Hell, <laughs> I'm not just feeling it, I know it. I hear strange sounds in the house. I know it's real. I can prove it. I did manage to record some of it, but when I sent it to my friends, they said it's only a mouse scratching. In their eyes, I've already gone crazy. Whatever I tell or show them, it's just another proof for my mental decay. Maybe they're right. But still, I stick with my hallucinations as if they are real. I know it sounds strange, but in some way, if I'm really haunted by something, I at least might have a chance to live. If, if I accept I'm only imagining it, it means I accept my death. So now, while I yet have the power to move, I will do everything to... What the...
son of a... Why don't you just kill me? Why are you making me suffer for so long? You were waiting, huh? Waiting for me to die. Okay then. I will ruin your game. Interesting variation. Nice job, soldier. Doctor, we are preparing the target for transportation. You should have done the witness. Oh, that's completely unnecessary. It's... Doctor, the 966 protocol clearly says... Yeah, 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 I know. The protocol. Fine. You are the neurosurgeon. You gave me the camera. That is right. 
You were not watching me. You watched a monster. You used his bait. <laughs> You're much smarter than you look. So you knew this thing caused this. You knew what's wrong with me. You lied to me and and you let me die. Just to get your pet. So what's next? Are you willing to cure me now? I'm afraid not. Indeed, I knew what's happening to you, but there is no cure. SCP-966 brain-altering ability is permanent. I can do nothing for you, but hey, you at least made it possible to conduct further research on the species. So, are you killing me? I'm afraid not. According to the procedure, I need to give you some amnestics. It will give you a short-term memory loss. Not like it would be necessary in your case, but procedure is procedure. What? No, don't let me suffer. At least, let 